Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use SAR. This is video four, and we're going to be talking about filters. So the filter is located right in the middle of the synth. I have a default patch here, so let's play a node. And we'll find our cutoff, which is the first knob here. And we can see it's already changing the sound. By default, it is at a low pass 24 dB here on the right hand side of the filter, and you can change this to a 12, for example, and see how that sounds. So much less aggressive filter. Then you have a band pass. And you can see that more so located on the EQ, how it goes through the frequencies. And then you have a high pass. Not exactly a very clean one because they're still a little bit here, but that's the charm of SAR. So let's go back to a 24 here and let's play with this cutoff here, maybe right here. Next we have the resonance. So this is going to be the point where the cutoff is how much to accentuate those frequencies. Just be careful how loud you push it because it can feed back on you. If I turn this down and do the same thing, and then put it back up, you can see over here how much more accented it is at the cutoff here. Next, we have keyboard tracking. So this is a very cool feature if you're not familiar with it. So if I'm playing something here, let's have our filter pretty obvious. So basically, once we set our filter here with a resonance, the filter is static. It does not move as you can see here. But if I change the keyboard tracking all the way up, it adjusts the position of that filter based on the key we press. And the next one, velocity tracking, is basically the same thing as keyboard tracking, except instead of the keyboard, it's gonna be the velocity that moves that filter. And then we talked about our low pass, our different shapes here, and the cool part now here is the envelope. So first things first, this main slider here where it says filter envelope amplitude, let's turn this all the way up and let's bring in some of our attack here. So it's kind of obvious. So this is kind of basically like the envelope we talked about up here earlier, but this is gonna be based for the filter. And we can see the filter open or hear the filter opening up and see it here as as uh, we move this attack slider. And then we have the decay, so or the delay, and then for the decay, sustain, and the release of that as well. So if we want to delay it or decay it by uh, two seconds and then have it sustain right about here and then have a little bit of a release. And that filter or the shape here of this envelope isn't just tied to the filter. You can move the shape and go to the seek frequency like we talked about earlier here. So basically this shape is going to be kind of controlling this knob if you think of it that way. And then you can also use this here to send this envelope to the subphase, which is going to be over here. But we don't have a sub going at the moment. And then lastly, we have to do the master frequency, which is kind of wild. So you too can make that really cool sounding patch. And that's pretty much it for the filters. There's not too much to it. Definitely play around with it because there's a lot of cool stuff you can send this envelope to, like the master frequency. The seek frequency is actually probably one of my favorites because you can make really weird sounding sounds with this.
And in the next video, we're going to be talking about the LFO section located right on the right-hand side of it.